Rightio, time for another tutorial. And in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a fun, like heart animation, all in Adobe XD. Hey guys, you're watching Downski, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, we're gonna learn how to create a nice little heart animation all in Adobe XD. The kind of thing that you'd see on like an Instagram or a platform where you could like. There's gonna be a heart, it's gonna ping, some stuff is gonna ping out of it, and it's gonna be really fun, really cute, and uh, it's incredibly easy to do. So we're gonna jump straight into it now to the screen, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. Rightio, so you can see we're now in Adobe XD, we have an artboard, an iPhone. Uh, whatever it is, and we have a heart in the middle. Now you can do this with any icon that you like. If you'd like to follow along with this tutorial, there is a link to download this XD file with this heart in the video description. So what we're gonna do first of all, is we're gonna select the artboard by clicking on the name, and press Command or Control D, that's D for donkey, and it will duplicate the selected object, in this case the artboard. Now we're gonna double click on the text, or the name of the artboard, and I'm gonna give these some sensible names, and I'm gonna call them one, two, and three, just because they run in sequence, but I would always recommend naming your artboards. Okay, so next, what I'm gonna do is just zoom in on this second artboard, and then grab my line tool, and just left click and hold shift. Shift keeps it straight, or snaps to a 45 or 90 degree increment. So a nice vertical line there, and then if I select that with the main selection tool, I could bump up the size to, we'll go for three on the width maybe, and I can round that line off as well, just a little bit more fun and a bit more cutesy. You can have a hard edge if you want, it's entirely up to you. And I'm gonna use the eyedropper tool as well, just to sample the same color that I'm using for the heart. And we'll bring this down, and I could of course make this a little bit taller or a bit shorter, something like this and those smart guides nicely help me line it up with my heart, which is bang on in the middle of the screen. And we'll position it around here. So now we're gonna press Command or Control D, again on the keyboard, duplicates the selected object, in this case the line. And we'll hold Shift and drag that straight down. And then again holding Shift, select both of these lines, Command or Control D to duplicate. And if you don't see the rotate symbol above the corner, you can do that over here in the property inspector on the right. So you could enter 90 degrees, for example, press return, and it does that, which isn't actually what we want because it rotates those individually on the spot. That's pretty good to know though. It rotates those individually. We want to rotate everything together. So, uh, well, I guess we kind of need that rotate symbol. So hover over until you, <laughs> until you see the rotate symbol and rotate and again, hold shift, it will snap to 90 degrees, and just use shift to select all four of these now. And again, command or control D on the keyboard to duplicate, and then rotate with shift. And you can see with shift held, it does snap to certain increments. In fact, it's not just 45 and 90, I think that's possibly 15 degree increments, but we want them so they're all spaced equally apart. So this is good. Now, if you've not got your layers panel open already, go down here, bottom left corner, we have lots of different lines, all named randomly. Now, what I would recommend when using Auto Animate is naming your layers, because what Auto Animate does is it uses the layer and the layer name from one artboard, and it pairs that with another artboard. So if the layers and the names mismatch, it, the animation will break, it will fail. So I'm just gonna go through and just give these really quick names like this, one, two, three, four, five. But of course you can uh, name these a bit more suitably if you have quite a complex project. So uh, there we go, all named and we have our heart. So all good. Now what I'm gonna do is select all of these holding shift. And by the way, you could actually group these together as well if you wanted. I'm not going to for this tutorial, but you could uh, right click and then you've got group there if it's uh, a little bit easier to manage with them all packed together in a group. But we're gonna keep these individual. They're all selected. I'm gonna go to edit down to copy and what I'm gonna do is paste this on the first artboard. So just select any object on the first artboard, go to edit and paste. Now, if I hold shift and scale up from one of the corners, it will scale up proportionally, but if I hold down alt or option as well, it will scale to and from the center, like so. So I'm gonna scale this in nice and small so it's actually inside the heart and you can't see it. And then I'm gonna go over to artboard number three, 
select an object here and just paste that in as well. But I'm going to do the opposite. So hold shift, alter option and scale up and out. Something like this. Now, if we jump over to prototype mode, we're gonna link this up, check our animation works, check that I've not buggered anything up, which is in a distinct possibility. So if we click on our heart here, we want this to operate on a tap or a click. That's gonna initiate this animation. You can see there, I actually just clicked on one of those lines. So just make sure you do select the heart. But if you've got any trouble selecting anything in particular, if you've got lots of layers, just open your layers panel and select it from there instead. So now the heart is selected, we can click on the blue tab, drag this over here. Now this is gonna be on a tap, so that is gonna be the trigger. The action is an auto animate. And you can experiment with the easing. The easing is the speed or the velocity that the animation plays out. So it might start slow and then get faster, it might start fast and then get slower. So experiment with all these different ones, but for this particular kind of heart-like effect, I found that wind up is one of the better ones and I want this to happen really quickly as well. So we're gonna go for 0 0.2 seconds. And then what's gonna happen on this next one is we're not actually gonna have any other clicks. So we go from this artboard to this artboard with a tap or a click. And then once we're on this one, we need to select the entire artboard because we're just gonna have like a slight delay and then it's gonna go on to the third artboard automatically. So with the artboard selected, we can actually drag a little blue tab all the way from the entire artboard, and we'll drag that to number three. This is not gonna be a tap, but it's going to be a time trigger, a delay of zero seconds, and we'll set the easing to ease out, and again, 0 0.2. But of course, as I say, feel free to experiment. There's lots of fun to be had playing around with different easings and speeds, and just kind of fine tuning that to get it right. So there we go. And what I'm gonna do lastly actually is just click on number three and we're gonna loop this all the way back to the beginning. And this is gonna be a time delay, zero seconds. It doesn't matter what this is. You can set the easing to none uh, if you like. <laughs> but now if I click play, we should be able to see our animation play out and it just loops back to the first artboard. So by looping it back, we can now just play this over and over again to infinity and beyond. There we go, got it in the video. So of course, this isn't quite right. We can see everything kind of going out and coming in and it's not quite there yet, but I like to check my animation works properly before I start making bits invisible. So if I go over back down to here, you see it's quite tricky to select all these lines. So as I say, go over to the layers panel, use shift and select line one through eight over there in the layers panel, it's a bit easier. Uh, but now I need to actually switch back to design mode. And now on the first startboard, I'm going to make all of those lines invisible. So we'll drop that opacity down to zero. And again, on the third artboard, I'm just gonna select all of these lines and make them invisible. So what this does is it starts invisible, it will come out of the heart on artboard two, and then with artboard three, it will then go invisible again. So let's play this and you can see how it looks. There we go. Very nice. And as I say, you can fine tune the animation, try out different easing speeds and everything, or you can even select these lines and you can maybe bring them a bit closer or a bit further apart and then you can just fine tune that animation. And this doesn't have to just be a heart on a bunch of artboards, this could actually be like part of an app screen that you're working on. So you might have like loads of app and other things going on as well. So I might just bring those in a bit more, just so it doesn't ping too far out. There we go, a little bit closer, still really cutesy. So that's good, it loops over and over and over again. Uh, what we could do, select the heart on the first artboard, and we'll make this, well, we'll go with 999999. Press return. Ooh, that's way too dark. Oh, no, 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 we'll go lighter. There we go, we'll go for this, this color here and I'll just copy and paste that in a moment. So we've got a gray, we can play that. But the problem is it goes back to the beginning now. So I want this to like be something that someone hasn't liked. They then like it, it plays the animation and turns red. But the problem is if I go back to prototype mode, this third one is set to just loop back to the beginning on a time delay. So what we do now is we remove that time delay, just click on this existing one, drag it into nowhere, and it will remove it. 
and instead of a time delay, we're gonna click on this last heart, the red one, and we're going to add another tap trigger that goes back to the first one. So we'll drag from the heart to the first artboard. The trigger is a tap, auto animate, you could set some easing here or something. Uh, I'll leave that as it is for now. Just play it, see how it looks. So someone hasn't liked it yet. We click, they've liked it, they click, and then it's unliked. Oh, there we go. That looks, that looks pretty good. Good job, Dan, well done. And there we go. That's how to create a fun, like, heart animation all in Adobe XD. So guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care, and I'll see you next time.